party people here's all of what you're gonna need to make this sweet potato honey bun cake i'm gonna run everything down for you and as usual everything will be listed in the description below so here i have some yellow cake mix duncan hines brand i got some bacon spray vanilla orange food coloring i'm using that that's actually optional i want the cake to have a rich orange color here i have some light brown sugar some cinnamon and some nutmeg and I have four eggs. I'm going one more egg extra than what the recipe of this box calls for so that the cake can be extra moist. And here I have some sweet potato that I baked. I prefer baking it because boiling it, it just loses its color. Then here I have some oil, sour cream, nutmeg, and some cinnamon. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start out by adding our cake mix to a stand mixer. You can also use a ham mixer too. Either way is fine. To that, we're gonna add all four of our eggs. And our oil. Now we're gonna let that mix together before we add anything else to it. So as soon as this is well combined, I'm gonna add the sweet potato, the sour cream, and the vanilla. All right, this looks good to me. I'm gonna let this down and add the remainder of our ingredients. So here's the sour cream going in. Guys, this is a pretty simple cake. It's all about how you layer the flavors to make it come out perfect. All right, and to that, I'm gonna add the sweet potatoes. Gotta get it all, guys, gotta get it all. Now we're gonna add our vanilla. So now we're gonna just give this a mix. Let this all come together till it's smooth, just the way cake batter is supposed to look. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that everything is mixed in. Just wanna get all that sour cream from off the side. So far, so good. Everything's looking good. And it smells amazing, let me just tell you guys that. Smells like a sweet potato pie, but of course that's not what we're making, but still it smells amazing. Okay, so guys, now that that is mixed up most of the way, I'm going to be adding in two to three drops of orange food coloring. Let's see how that does, and if it's the perfect color that I think that it should be, and I won't be needing to add any more. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. You know what, let's give it one more. I think it needs to be a little bit more richer in orange color than that. Oh, that was two guys. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that is perfect. Guys, also remember, do not over mix your cake. Just mix it until everything is well combined. So this is how your mix should be looking. It shouldn't be watery, it shouldn't be runny at all. Okay? All right, so let's put this in the pan now. But before we put our batter in the pan, let's mix our brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg mix. Make sure that it's mixed completely through so you don't have any patches of just cinnamon and just patches of just brown sugar and definitely not nutmeg. You know that flavor is strong. You definitely don't want any patches of that. Oh man, guys, this smells so good. Okay, so that's it for that. All right, so I'm gonna use this baking spray to spray our pan with. Make sure that your oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. So now what we're gonna do is add half of our batter and then spread it out.
that is fine right there. Now you just want to give it a shake. Make sure that it's level. Now you want to add your sugar mixture. Just sprinkle it over this first layer. Be generous with it because we're going to do some things with this to make sure that it's all through just the way a honey bun is supposed to look. All right, y'all. Guys, this is an easy recipe. Can't go wrong with it. It's already a box cake mix, guys, so can't go wrong with that. Make sure you get those corners. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you smash that like button. I appreciate it in advance. If you have already, thank you so much. And definitely hit that subscribe button. And most of all, the notification bell. Now we're just gonna spread it as much as we can. It doesn't have to touch all corners. That is totally fine because it's gonna spread all on its own, but you just wanna kinda bring it over as far as you can. I know it looks a bit weird, but this is the way it's supposed to go. So don't be alarmed, guys. It's gonna turn out just fine. Now you just want to take a chopstick or a toothpick, something thin. Do not use a spoon because it's going to mess it up. You just want to swirl it in. So I'm choosing to do the long way so that it can come out a little decent. Let's go back and forth just like that, guys. Now, guess what? It's ready to bake. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna place this in the oven, guys, for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Depending on your oven, make sure that you check it at least 20 minutes into its cooking process so that you don't overcook this. And I'll be back and show you guys exactly what it's supposed to look like. And we're gonna also make a glaze. Look at this beauty, y'all. I just took it out, and I'm gonna do the toothpick test to make sure that it's done. Looks good to me. All right, let's make that glaze now. All right, guys, so while we let our cake slightly cool after baking, we're going to make a quick glaze for this. So here I have some powdered sugar. You guys, don't forget I mentioned earlier that I will be listing the ingredients and the measurements in the description below. So when you guys are ready to make this, you can just go to that section and pull it up. All right, so I'm going to be adding some whole milk. And to that, I'm going to be adding some vanilla. I'm just gonna mix that up till it becomes loose. All right, so this is the perfect consistency. All right, now, now let's put it all over this amazing cake that we just baked. Nice. Guys, before we add the icing to it, I just want you guys to take a look at the nice cinnamon and sugar mix that's all throughout this cake. Look at that up close. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's add the glaze. It doesn't have to be any specific design unless that's what you prefer. But this is just gonna go all over this cake and melt right in. Mm, guys, this smells so good. It's like a mixture between sweet potato pie and a nice cake. Let's get all that glaze on there.
Now we're just gonna take this and smear it all over so that it gets everywhere. Guys, and you wanna make sure that you do this when your cake is still slightly warm. All right, this looks good enough. Now I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes before we cut into it. Oh my God, I know I said this already, but this really, really, really smells good. Can't wait to eat it. And it's so moist, look how soft that is coming up. Guys, before I show you the slice that I cut, I just want you to see the inside of this cake. How beautiful it is, how moist, and it is cooked all the way through, and it is not dry. You gotta try this recipe. All right, so let me show you the slice that I managed to get out. And here she is. Look how beautiful this looks. Let's do it. Mm. Guys, I gotta show you the middle of it again. <laughs> but here it goes, first bite goes to you. Now my turn. Mm. Mm -hmm. This right here, this right here is a must. Mm. Wow. It tastes like a sweet potato pie and a cake like the flavor is so amazing guys make sure you give this recipe a try and also make sure that you like this video definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit your notification bell so that you can be notified when i post another video all right guys i'm going to give you another look at this so guys wrap this video up and i'll see you guys in the next video peace